Spooky vid time. We can see what Mr. Nightmare is up to, sure. Five most disturbing videos taken in an attic. Of course, it'll usually be dismissed as house settling noises. Because who would ever imagine that someone or something would actually be up in your attic? Or God forbid, on your roof, right? Ooh, hold on. Before this gets going, I think I already know one he's going to show. He's going to show that one we watched a while ago from Inside Edition where the neighbor uh, made a secret passage into their attic in order to watch them sleep. And the guy put in like a GoPro camera to watch him and it's just like this weird bald guy who looks like Schmeagol from Lord of the Rings just like crawling through and looking down at them. You guys remember him? Man looked like he was perpetually covered in a thick film of grease. And then he got arrested. And I think his uh, the punishment was he's not allowed to do that again. <laughs> like, I don't think he went to jail or anything. He's just, he, he's not allowed to go back to their house. It was basically, hey, can you not go into their attic? He, he got caught because the father noticed one night that there was a light coming from his attic. And it was the guy with a flashlight looking down or something. It was crazy. Shit was wild. He's a tier one crustacean. Well, these videos may make you want to install cameras. Jerome and Ashley. Kennedy it, this is the one. Pittsburgh immediately talk, into it. With their ten month yes. old baby, living comfortably. <laughs> this is the this is the one, one I was talking about. Above their heads in their own home, the row house next door that was being renovated was owned by seventy three year old Robert Havrilla, who's described. There he. He literally looks like a guy that would be crawling in attics. Like, this is the, the attic boogeyman. He, it's like he was born in there and never left. So he keeps trying to find his way back. Yeah, fuck yeah. Immediately into this one. Very reclusive and known to keep to himself. Jerome was in bed one night when he heard noises above him in the attic. He's kinds of noises that weren't just house noises. Yep, He knew there something it is. was up there. Then he noticed a light shining through a pipe, as if it were searching for a place to look through. So Jerome installed the surveillance camera in his attic, and a day later, caught on tape was many people's worst nightmare. <laughs> his neighbor Robert in yeah. his attic, oh, carrying fuck. a power drill, looking into the bedroom. His neighbor had made a removable wall to gain access to their attic. It wasn't just the attic, though. Jerome also found perfectly so round weird. holes in the common wall between the two row houses. The shapes indicate that Robert the neighbor was drilling holes through the wall. Cops were called, and Robert was charged with stalking and trespassing which he pled not guilty to. Robert's attorney made a statement that his client had no bad God intentions. Damn. He claims he was in the attic for maintenance reasons connected to his renovations, <laughs> not to peep on anyone or do anything malicious. Yeah, he looks like he's renovating up there. No, 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 you see, uh, uh, Your Honor, my client was actually up there looking for uh, lost Pokemon cards with the, the recent boom in prices. He, he realized his grandchildren must have uh, had some good ones that he stored in the attic at one point. Uh, he, there was nothing weird about it. And the fact that he had a flashlight while looking through the pipe into the neighbor's house is truly just a coincidence and a misunderstanding. Anybody with half a brain would know this is BS. The many holes drilled in the common wall and through the ceiling in the attic were without a doubt meant to spy on his neighbors. Mm -hmm. Strangely enough, it appears Robert was aware of the camera that Jerome had placed as he looks right God, at God, it's like an screen. alien. So why he continued to do it's what like a he baby did alien. is unknown. When the window doesn't provide a good view of what it could be, he decides to go outside for a better view, and this is what he sees. Oh, it's gonna be Slender Man. I feel it. What the fuck is that? Oh, well, this shit is fake. What Damn. The fuck? Wait, wait, what is that? Something from a Studio Ghibli movie? What, what am I looking at? Hey! <laughs> It's half a head of what looks to be either some kind of creature or perhaps somebody wearing a mask. Fuck. Oh my god! It's La Llorona! No other information is known of this video. Was it some kind of creature? Some people in the comments were saying it could be an owl. Others think it was a person in a mask with mouth. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> possibly trying to break into the house. Man, what the fuck? An owl? Bro, what kind of. What? It's just a staged YouTube video. I don't think any fucking owl looks like that. And his dad sounded concerned and told him to go upstairs and check on the hot water heater, which is actually in their attic, a very uncommon place to find a water heater. Steven's dad was worried that something was wrong with the water heater and that the sounds he was hearing were coming from it. So Here's Steven hands. obliged and proceeded to go up into the attic, but not without recording. Well, that's another fake one. 
Mr. Nightmare has always done like real shit from everything we've seen. And the first video here was real, but the last couple here have been fake. Or at least this one seems like As it's about Steven to be fake. Steven checked the water heater and saw that it was completely fine. He then appeared to be leaving the attic. And that's when he heard a sound that caught his attention. As Stephen heard something come from inside a large, long box, what? he took a closer look at it and saw someone's eye peeking He's out. He's just one trying of the to holes. use his imagination like SpongeBob and Patrick. The 17 year old was Leave him alone. In shock. And I, I would have stomped that box to... flat. No, you would not. <laughs> you would not. I, I know for a fact you wouldn't. I don't know you personally, but I know you wouldn't. I, assuming that's real. There's not a single goddamn person in this chat that would have, like, fought that guy. All of you would have run. No way. You're not, you're not like, the hero of an anime. I, every, I know, I do this too. Everyone comes up with these, like, crazy scenarios. I would stop a school shooting if I was there. I would charge him and then disarm him using Dale Brown's kung fu techniques from the Detroit Survival Fitness. I would be the, the man to do it. But you wouldn't. You just wouldn't. So the man decides to go up there with a the lighting camera and check it out. Papa! And gamer. Papa! Oh, no, no. Is that Ray William Johnson? <laughs> the man looks around for several minutes but doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. As the wife is clearly very distressed and scared, the man maintains a calm, reassuring demeanor about the situation. What's going on with the audio? They going through a tunnel? Oh my! Wait, that was actually Gollum. That is literally Gollum. It appears to be the wrinkled, gray face of an old man peering down at the couple for a very brief moment with an eerie expression. It quickly disappears back into the darkness above, going undetected by the couple. Some people believe that it may have been a homeless elderly man who was taking refuge in the couple's attic. I don't. No, no. I don't think it is. I. If I, I don't. This is like a weird stock asset of, I guess, Dobby the house elf. That is not a wrinkly old man. This dude, like, looked down the ladder like a boss fight in Dark Souls. He just, like, swung his head over out of nowhere. It's not like a wrinkly old man. Plus, the guy that went in the attic would have seen him. God, what a, Oh, it's like an infrared. I feel like I'm in an AC-130 right now. Like that Modern Warfare mission, good lord. Kinda, these are the shingles. Hey, thanks for the five gift subs, gamer. Appreciate it, man. Here's some Gorski. Wait a minute, that's the same goddamn guy that was in the other attic. What kind of cryptid is this? The attic bald man? Oh my god. He grabbed his rifle and returned to his roof, but the creature was no longer there. The creature seems to be bald with a large round head, but no facial features can be seen. Damn. Well, one of those videos was real. <clears throat> the other four were also real. God damn, those, there's an epidemic right now of rakes living on people's roofs, I guess. Fuck, we're gonna have to do something about that.